Afkai Expo announced on Twitter Tuesday that Face Connect has chosen to cover all table costs for vendors and artists. In today's edition of the Eldritch Archives, we will be talking about these developments in the convention scene. This said, I'm Shogmami, your local Eldritch Tentacle Monster Sea Slug, bringing you today's cup of tea in the Eldritch Archives. As stated, Afkai posted yesterday the following on Twitter. Vendors, Face Connect's got you covered. If you're vending at Afkai Gen 3, you'll be refunded your booth or a table fee in a couple of weeks. No action required. Please give a big thanks to Phase Connect for supporting this year's vendors. We are pleased to announce that in addition to their sponsorship of Afkai Expo's 2024 Vendor Hall, Phase Connect has generously offered the booth and table costs for all vendors in the hall. We would like to express our sincere gratitude to Phase Connect for their support of Afkai Expo and our artists and vendors. This move by Phase Connect shocked the community and netizens were quick to offer glowing praise across social media, including Twitter, Discord, Reddit, and other locations. Many VTubers also commented on Twitter, including Zion Zeep and Podge, stating the move was amazing. Kyo with a simple W. Zeranus Machina, that's beautiful, hell yeah, for the artists. Fifi, huge W. Others posting memes and expressed their thanks. Artist Lou Wood would go on to confirm that Face Connect indeed had sponsored the entire vendor hall, shown in an email from Offkai Expo. Dear vendors, we're emailing you with some great news. Face Connect, the official sponsor of Offkai Expo, Expo Gen 3, Vendor Hall has graciously decided to buy out the entire hall so you can vend for free. Every table and booth has been paid for by Phase Connect. There is nothing you need to do. And in just a few days, we will start processing your refunds. This is a huge change, so bear with us while we work on the refunds. If you have any other issues or concerns, please reach out to us and we will answer the best of our ability. It may take a few weeks for all the refunds to process. We would personally like to say a huge thank you to Phase Connect for allowing us to provide you all with the very best vendor hall experience at Ofkai Expo yet. Every vendor should verify that they are registered for the convention by navigating to reg.offkaiexpo.com slash event slash register and selecting the zero vendor registration option for the badge included their table or booth. Lewood would also share a brief Discord message with Sakana who would simply post LOL. The shock and awe across the internet would not cease there as Face Connect was trending the majority of the afternoon and evening on Twitter and even Reddit was aflame with amazement. Several netizens there posting within the official Face Connect board some of the following comments. God, I love Base Connect. Who knew that giving talents their own line of coffee and more than 2% cut would work out favorably? Based Fishman, he used all the money from the Pip Sock Stales for this. Sakana was able to afford it because of the massive revenue from the cabbage eating ASMR voice pack. Good PR move considering how many artists who do these sorts of things are struggling in recent years due to inflation. Idol was the main financial backer of last year's Ofkai, but FaZe put out a good chunk of money into actually decorating the venue itself with FaZe related cardboard cutouts and the like, which was a pretty brilliant form of advertising. But this helps shows that Face Connect cares about the wider VTuber community itself, not just their company spot within it. Admittedly, I was floored when I saw this announcement yesterday and honestly quite impressed by Face Connect's decision. This was a very popular choice by the overall fandom, and I don't think I saw a single negative thing being said about Face Connect's decision to pay for the booths. The only thing that is mildly criticizing, and that's reaching, are some comments stating that it was a PR move by the agency. But we have to realize it is a company at the end of the day and it is a very good move. Artists especially struggle to break even at conventions sometimes and this guarantees that everyone who did get a table at the convention can rest easier knowing that their table costs are covered. Vendors typically do pretty well at these events but considering how much a vendor table must cost at conventions it also eases the burden a bit for them as well. Overall this is an incredibly based decision by Phase Connect. I've seen folks state that they would like to see more of this sort of philanthropy within the industry sponsorships helping support artists and small businesses. In fact, it might be neat to have grants for low income and new tabled artists. Again, either way, I do think this is a very awesome move by the agency, and it really has turned heads within the community to say the least. This said, I suppose now is as good as time as any to announce, I will be attending Offkai Friday and Saturday. There are several meetups and panels that I'd like to attend, but would not mind saying hello to any of my fans who might be attending as well. I'll be there with my badge on display, so if you happen to see a tiny girl running around 
out with the badge Shog Mommy, don't be afraid to say hi. So, what are your thoughts on Face Connect paying for the creatives and vendors' booths? Would you like to see a sort of creators' fund provided at future conventions? What other sorts of things would you like to see from large sponsors in the near future? Comment below and we'll continue our conversation there. But for now, my dear cultists, I must bid you all a dark eve. Thank you all for your continued love and support. If you stayed this long, please remember to give this video a like, consider sharing, and following. As always, I'm Shog Mommy, your local Ajatenakomasu Seaslug. Take care and stay awesome. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!